everybody, I'm Bottles. And I'm Maury, and we're playing Hotel Dusk You Up. Hotel Dusk You Up. Say what? <laughs> okay, so... What the fuck is this? Okay, so this is Hotel Dusk, Room 215. If you want to ask me my opinion, this is the most underrated game on the Nintendo DS. Ooh. Like, ever. This game is amazing, and no one knows what the fuck it is. And the soundtrack... Ugh, so good. Just kissing an asshole and it, ex it proceeds to explode. Yes, exactly. You get me. That's one of those. So without further ado, let's play some Hotel Dusk. You up. Let's you do up. it. Friday, oh, December 24th, 1976, in New York. Hide! Phone! Ooh. 89th Precinct. This is Hide. What the hell? Bradley! Cooper? Bradley! Why? Don't move! You're just standing there, man. Lila. Just a dream. Friday, December 24th, 28th, 1979, in Los Angeles. Red Crown. What's that? How many? Got it. 15 pizzas. All right, we'll send it right out. Rachel, where the hell is Hyde? Get him on the horn, Prano. Tell him to stop hiding. Yes, sir. <laughs> stop hiding from me. <laughs> you can be Rachel. <laughs> Beep beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be I'll be his uh what are they his called? Beeper. His beeper. Friday, December twenty eighth, nineteen seventy nine. We're going to some place. Hi. Uh -oh. Why haven't you checked in? Stop yelling, Ed. My head's pounding like a marching band caught in a stampede. Hung over again, eh? Well, no sympathy here. You reap what you sow. Now listen up, I got a job for you. It's a place called Hotel Dusk. Package is on the way and the order sheet's inside. Got it. Is he not a cop? Not anymore. Oh. Oh, whoa, the quality change. It's like 3D now. Whoa, it's a woman. You're the grill. since I quit the force and left New York. Now I'm a salesman for this outfit called Red Crown. On the surface, Red Crown's door-to-door -door sales firm dealing in household goods. But Ed, the boss, has himself a little business on the side. He finds things that don't always want to be found. Keeps it quiet, too. From time to time, I lend a hand. Ain't the greatest gig in town, but... Hell, I got nowhere to be and nothing better to do. You hear me, Bradley? This is it. This is what I'll be doing until I find you. A 
Oh. But was this it? I gotta knock. <laughs> or, or not. Go in. Chapter 1. December 28th, 1979, 5 o'clock to 5.30 p.m. Great. An empty lobby with no one home. Where is the front desk in this dump? Huh? Cute sign, pal. Guess that's where I check in. Is Ed's package here yet? Uh, let me just figure out the controls wise. Oh god, that's gonna be weird. Oh no. Okay, Mori? What? This is gonna have be how yep. Yeah. Alright, so you know, full disclosure, we're playing this on emulator. This is gonna be how you're gonna have to play the game. Oh you have God. to play it with the controller sideways, because you have to think you're playing with the DS sideways. Uh-huh. It's like one of those games like Brain Age. So uh Yeah, it's gonna be a little weird. Okay. Uh Yeah, I can just touch it. Yeah. Okay. What about this? This. Hey, it's a clipboard that settles. That settles it. There's got to be someone around here. Oh, I could turn things. All right, a bell. I guess I could press it. Guy's got a bell on the counter. Nice touch. A do 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 do. <gasps> Bing. <laughs> I solved the puzzle. Wait, what? I just had to ring the bell. Maybe this dump isn't deserted after all. You give me this guy. Rosa! Hey, Rosa! If I told you once, I told you a thousand times. Don't go bothering me when I'm watching my game. Huh? The hell? You ain't Rosa. What is this? since I last checked. Oh, this guy's fantastic. <laughs> Did you call me Rosa? What a charming welcome. Which one should we go with? Go with don't go Did you call me Rosa? Who's Rosa? Rosa? She's the hotel maid. Hard worker, but she's got a mouth the size of Nebraska. The size of Nebraska. Always finding ways to bust my chops when I'm watching a game. Anyway, sorry for thinking you was her. No harm, no foul, eh? Name's Dunning Smith. And I own this joint. Welcome to my own little slice of heaven, Hotel Dusk. Dunning Smith. Seems like a grumpy piece of leather. So, you here for a room or just to hear me jaw? A room. One night. The kind of room you want. Cheap. Well, if you want to save a bit of a scratch, I got a room available. Great. But hey, let me bend your ear for a second. How'd you like to stay in something a little nicer? You have nice rooms? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, of course I do, asshole. You fucking dick. <laughs> You're in sales, right? Door to door, on your feet all day. Something like that. Yep, I know it. You haul the case around all day and the dogs get to barking. So what do you say? Why not give yourself a little treat for once? One night in a nice room, it'll make you a new man out of you. This'll be a... Nah, this is a bit rare, but tonight I actually got a suite open. And because I'm feeling generous, I'll let you have it for a special price. Sweets are for chumps. Nah, we'll take a sweet. It's that sweet. All right, give me the sweet. Really? How much? Well, it'll normally it'll normally run you three fifty. Three fifty. But I'll let you have it for three bills even. Three hundred dollars? You think I'm an idiot? 
That's ridiculous. It's a fair price, I'm telling you. The wor worm's worth the every cent. <laughs> the worm is worth every cent? I'll pass. I don't have that kind of walking around money. Just window shopping, eh? Hell, that's a waste of time for both of us. Well, if I could get you to fill out this registration card, y'all could have a room. Here's a pen for you. Nice pen, too. Don't go stealing it. I'm gonna touch myself with it. <laughs> ah! No, we're not playing Doki Doki anymore. There we go. And done. <laughs> New clue. Your name I'm is Kyle Hyde. I'm Kyle Hyde. Kyle Hyde? Your name's really Kyle Hyde? That's what my parents told me. Huh. The Kyle Hyde? Would that work for you? Yeah, sure. Forget I said nothing. Hold on. You like my name? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. We'll, just, we'll say that. Good name, isn't it? <laughs> Kyle so Hyde? Nice. Yeah, it's a great name. I seen a bunch of... I seen you a bunch in... Wait, what? I seen a bunch of you in the phone. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Anyway, about your room. I should be a little bit more Western. Hang on. <clears throat> You're in room 215. Here's the key. I got, the room, I got the room 215 key. It's got the room number and the word wish engraved on it. Oh, that's a puzzle for later. Wish? What's that supposed to mean? It's the name of the room. The room has a name? Sure it does. Every room in this hotel has its own name. We got wish, bravery, daybreak, success, and even angel. Cute. You think those up yourself? Sure did. A great group of names, ain't they? Wish is my favorite of the bunch, though. What a crock. A crock? Rooms need numbers. That's it. Naming a room is a waste of time. Oh, the symbolism. Waste of time? Ain't no one ever said that before. They just didn't have the stones to tell you what they really thought. Some guests like names. But now I know, you're a man who don't like to waste time on silly stuff. Save me from wasting breath on my story. Yup, a man like you would find my story a waste of time all the way around, but... Hold on. You think you know me? Do you know who I am? I am Kyle Hyde, ace detective. Now, reveal what you're hiding from me. What is your story? What story did you mean? Nothing. Waste of time. Cut the crap. What's the story? Well, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. Actually, it's about room 215. The room where you're staying. It's got a, what you call it, a history. A history? What, like ghosts? Tell me it's haunted? Ghosts? Pah! Nah, this is a way better than some spook and chains. You got dreams, pal? Something you wish for? I'm not much for wishing. Don't surprise me, but still. If you got something you want, I mean really want, you just may find it tonight. You follow? That's the story. That's room 215. It's the place where witches are granted. I don't know why I'm helping you, but go ahead and take this. It's a hotel brochure. You got a map in there, too. Wow, this guy's really giving. <laughs> I got the hotel brochure. I Damn you. It. You made me miss my game. And now, for making me miss my game, I'm going to give you everything I got and figure out the mysteries of this place. I'm going to put it in my pocket. <laughs> so I could go make the insurance claims. <laughs> all right, you're all checked here. Head on up to the second floor. It's through the hobby and up the stairs. Room 215's down the hall on the left. 
restaurants through the lobby and to the left. It opens for dinner at 6 o'clock and breakfast at 7.30. Wow, an hour and a half away from each other. <laughs> Got a bar. Actually, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Got a bar, too. Opens at 9 tonight. Checkouts at 10. Miss it, and we charge you double. Of course, if you want to stay another night, just let me know. Need anything else? There's supposed to be a package for me. A package for you? Sorry, I don't see nothing. It should be here. Maybe you can actually look around or something? You send a package to a hotel when you don't even have a reservation? Nice. Oh, and this package better not be anything that's gonna cause problems. Oh yeah? <laughs> Mind your business, Pops. What kind of problems? Is there anything that's gonna inconvenience my hotel? Depends on what you mean by inconvenience. Had a bit of trouble with a package for another young guy like you. Thing turned into a damn circus. Let's just say I don't want to deal with anything like it again. And leave it at that. Bunch of lousy. I'll have the bellhop look for your package. If it shows, we'll bring it to your room. My room grants wishes? Fill me in on this whole wish granting thing. It's a story I heard from for, from folks that stayed in 215. First, there was a young girl, then a middle-aged fella. Both of them looked beat down when they arrived, like they had no future. <laughs> but by next morning, they'd been reburned. Their faces were just peaceful, like... Well, I was surprised as a dog in a tree. So I asked him what happened. And you know what? They both told me the same thing. 215 is magic. It granted me a wish and everything's okay now. So that's why I said... <laughs> What's so damn funny? Good one, Pops. Real nice. I didn't think an old timer like you would tell me fairy tales. Fairy tales? That what you think this is? Just a waste of your valuable time, is that it? Call it a fairy tale if you want. It's a free country. What was the trouble? Talk about the trouble you mentioned earlier. What happened? That? Well, it was right about three years ago. One of the bellhops took a package to a guest room, right? And then, BANG! A bunch of cops and detectives come storming in. Detectives? Seems my guess was a crook. Part some big crime ring or something. He was using my hotel as a drop off for stolen goods. Whole damn thing was a damn mess. Damn gunshots in the damn hallway screaming damn guests <laughs> running in every damn witch's damn way. Ankle ain't never gonna go through anything like that again. Damn, damn, damn. That's why the Dong Gong Dusk's got a strict <laughs> policy. No crooks and no cops. You got that, copper? <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your stay. I guess we should go to our room. Why is he vibrating intensely? I don't know. <laughs> is there anything else we could take from his... This is, this reminds me a lot of... Um... Huh? This reminds me a lot of Nancy Drew. Oh, yeah? Pardon me, sir. Do you have a room available? As I walk away from the front desk, I hear a voice behind me. That's an old lady. It's Snake! <gasps> I need a room for the night. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> just another guest. It's just an old Sayori. <laughs> oh my god, no. Welcome to my own little slice of heaven. Hotel Dusk You Up. As luck would have it, we got vacancies. What kind of room you looking for, darling? Well now, aren't you just a sweet talker? <laughs> but there's a certain <laughs> room I want. Which room's that? The one I saw at the newspaper article. I want that special room. The wishing room. And this is the hotel dusk, is it not? Of course it is! And I know the room you're looking for! Unfortunately, ma'am, that room's taken. 
Oh dear, is it taken? I just told you that! <laughs> I just dang gone told you that! That's right, and I'm damn sorry about it. I mean, I'm real sorry, ma'am. Well, isn't that a shame? You want a different room? We got plenty. There's all They're all top of the line. Yes, I, I suppose I'll make do with something else. Should I talk to the lady? Hi, lady. She's just Snake. This is Snake. She does actually kind of look like Big Boss. Just like, a, like a, an old female one. Excuse me. Now, now, young man. I'm trying to check into this nice hotel room. Perhaps we can talk later. After we've been properly introduced, that is. Alright, later. Well, what a fucking cunt. I guess we'll just go to our room. Wait a minute. Dunning said something while I was checking in. Your name's really Kyle Hyde? Huh. Yeah, sure. Forget about it. I wonder why my name got that reaction. I guess we're gonna go back and find out. But he's Yo, gone. Duncan! Yo, Duncan Donuts! Got a sec? You're all checked in, ain't ya? I'm helping this other guest right now. Come on back later, will ya? Well, fuck off then. Come on after my dang gong game is done. Gosh dang it. Gosh darn dang gun. <laughs> Are the stairs back here? I really love the aesthetic of this game. Yeah, I like it too. Huh? There's some kids sitting on the stairs. Hey. What? <laughs> Is this like your Natsuki impression? I'm just trying to do some sort of a voice. I'm, I'm figuring it out. You're blocking oh. the stairs, kid. Move it. No! <laughs> oh, God. So this is how it's going to be. Now move it, you brat! What's the problem? I'm pulled! Happy punch, buddy! <laughs> Playing. This ain't a sandbox, kid. Duh! This is our stars! Smart kid. <laughs> now get out of my way. Where'd you come from? What's your name? Mm. Leave me alone. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you anything, mister. What was that, kid? Mm -hmm. You won't tell me? <laughs> That's what my mom taught me. She said I should never tell strangers my name. Especially jerks. Got an answer for everything, huh, kid? You keep this up and we're gonna have trouble. I'm not going to put up with your crap. Ooh, scary. What are you gonna do, huh? You wanna know? Maybe I'll call Dunning and have him give you the bum's rush. Maybe I'll call your mom and tell her that her kid's a damn terror. You call my mom? Hey, kid. Ha, ah, she's afraid of mom. What should we do? I'd say give her a break. So where's your mom? She's not here. What? You're not traveling with her? Come on, kid. Knock it off, will ya? Why won't you move? If there's a good reason. Just tell me. I... I can't finish it. Can't finish what? I can't finish my puzzle. Puzzle, huh? A puzzle? How's a puzzle stop you from moving? I... I can't finish it. It's almost done, but... This kid's a loon. This isn't the place to be working on a puzzle. Go to your room or the car or a freeway or something. My dad says I make too much noise. That's why I'm here. I was gonna go back to the room when I finished, but... I 
can, okay? I can't finish this stupid puzzle because it's too hard and stupid. Oh, for the love of stop bawling. <laughs> now what? Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> hey. Move it, damn it! <laughs> Give me a break, kid. A puzzle isn't something to ball about. Look, just let me do it for you, okay? Huh? 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 Are you gonna help me, mister? Stop calling me mister. The name's Kyle Hyde. If you're gonna talk to me, use my name. M mister Hyde? Close enough. Listen, just... Here. Give me the puzzle. I don't know, Maury. This looks a little too tough for uh, my age range. I have complete and utter faith in you. Okay. What are you doing? That doesn't go there. I don't know! <laughs> oh, you have to flip him. He's got a poopy diaper. Oh, this is fucking stupid. This kid's right. <laughs> <laughs> this, this kid's right. This does suck. No, you turn it the other way. Other way. This is hard. No, one more. There you go. This is so hard. <sighs> more you're a genius. Mori, how are you so good at puzzles? And we're done. <laughs> Oh, you can't fit this piece at all. Is this a Sonic character? I was gonna say, like, <laughs> is this your Sonic fan character? There. Now take this and go back to your room. What's wrong now? The puzzle's done, everything's okay. No, it's not. It's not? Why not? It just isn't. It's no fun if I don't do it myself. The girl throws the finished puzzle down on the stairs. Oh, are you kidding me? What are you doing? This guy reminds me of Mike. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're a complete basket case, you know that? At least say thanks for the help before you bust up the puzzle. You talk too much. Nice attitude, kid. You better watch your step. Huh? Pick it up. No, you can't make me. You threw him down, you pick him up. Well, you deaf or what? Answer me. Okay, okay, S sorry. Little brat's pretty ticked off that I scolded her. But at least she picked up the puzzle pieces. I'm done, okay? You happy? Thrilled. I I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please don't hurt me! Fine. Yeah, whatever. Come on, kid. Enough of the waterworks already. Hey, look. I didn't mean... Hmm. <laughs> I tricked you, you stupid jerk! A girl laughs at me and runs up the stairs. Damn it. I don't have time for this crap. You got pickpocketed. Huh? Who is that kid? We totally got pickpocketed. The girl drops something on the stairs. What's this? Uh huh, she won't be able to finish the puzzle without this! <laughs> Stupid bitch. I picked up a puzzle piece. Huh? There's a black line on the back of this. Wonder what it is. Let's go to our room and then I guess that's where we'll end the part once we actually make it. To our room. You know, if we could take three steps without hitting a cutscene. Somebody's coming out of room 213. Are you sick? Huh? Hey there. You okay? <laughs> What's going on? Huh? You don't look so hot. What? You sick or something? No. No, I'm fine. Alright. Sorry to bother you. Hold it. Yeah? Who are you? Me? 
Kyle Hyatt. I'm down in 215. I'm Jeff. Jeff Angel. Jeff Angel. Yeah, right. Wonder what this punk's story is. Stay here a lot? What? Here? Never. Nah, I've never stayed in a place like this before. Unfortunately, I have no choice but to stay here tonight. Really? No choice, huh? Why don't you have a choice? Something happen? What's that? Why am I staying here? I don't think I need to explain myself to you. Just asking. Just asking? Easy, it's not like I'm a cop or anything. You're not a cop? That's kind of an odd thing to just blurt out, isn't it? So, you're not a cop. That's too bad. Uh, this is where we're gonna end it for today. Um, Bottles. I'm Maury, and See it's too bad I'm not. Next time.